This podcast is part of the Listen Frederick Podcast Network. To learn more, visit listenfrederick.com. Hello and welcome to the Fedora Files. I am Gregory Fedora. Thank you for joining me and showing up and being here. I'm excited to have you on board and uh, chat with you for a little bit, uh, tell you some stuff, talk, get you thinking, uh, possibly take you down a rabbit hole. Because why not? Why not? And when I'm here in the uh, bunker, uh, I've moved bunkers. Uh, I'm actually in the process of building a new bunker, which we will be uh, showing in the near future. So, we're in 2024, and it's already an exciting time. We got people accusing uh, people of being on certain lists. We got supposed aliens showing up in Miami, and that's what I want to talk to you about. What happened in Miami on January 1st, the first day of 2024, and we got crazy stuff going on in Miami, Florida. All right, for those of you who have been living under a rock, let me just preface it and kind of explain it condensed. Uh, People claimed that they saw large, dark creatures roaming through this mall, and it caused all sorts of havoc and terror, and over 100 cop cars showed up. The police said it was just a group of teenagers with sticks. But initially, they didn't release any of their, like, body cam footage or their car cam footage. Um, They just were like, hey, trust us, it was just a bunch of uh, of a... uh, Kids with sticks. And I found it interesting that, you know, people who were in the past were like, yeah, don't trust the cops. They're bad. And we're like, yeah, trust the cops. Then listen to them. They aren't going to lie to you. Yeah. But, you know, uh, a couple months ago, a couple years ago, we're like, yeah, you can't trust cops. They lie to you. But now we got to trust them because, of course, they're telling the truth about kids with sticks. But eyewitnesses all were claiming that there was something far more sinister going on. And... We all know that around 2020, uh, the government came out and said, hey, guess what? There are aliens out there, and they have visited our planet. And so that initially, everyone was going, oh, it was aliens. Aliens were walking around the mall. They're like, hey, you know, let's uh, see what's going on. Let's see what these humans are all about. Let's go to the mall in Miami, because that's probably the best way to figure out what these guys are all about. So they did it. They went to Miami. They went to the mall. And boom, there they were. They they saw uh, people. But was it an alien invasion or a scouting party or just, you know, they wanted to go get some stuff at Claire's? You know, I don't know. I don't know what they wanted. Um, but then some other people who are more on the religious front of it, they were saying uh, it was the Nephilim. The Nephilim. They're, they're there that from the Bible. And if those of you who don't know what that is, I mean— Briefly explain. In the Bible, in Genesis, there's a part where it says the sons of God came, saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they got with them and started making babies. And so people took that as uh, it was demons coming and impregnating human women and create these Nephilim. But if you actually read the verse, it says the sons of God saw the daughters of man. They came together, made babies and those were the heroes of old and in that time the nephilim roamed the earth so it's to me it's a very distinctive difference that you got the sons of god and man like so even if you believe it's angels or demons having babies with humans they created the heroes of old and at the time the nephilim were wandering so it's not these weren't the same and what what were the nephilim i don't know i have some theories about what it's referring to what it's talking about but that's not the now is not the time well so these people took the idea oh it was the nephilim at the mall they're they're wandering the mall these and they were going with these demonic half men half angel or half demon people wandering the mall and, and my my thought on that is not even in the weekly world news have we heard any one coming forward and saying, hey, I've had a baby with a demon. So, like, we're not seeing people coming out and saying that, and I think you would, especially if you had a crazy child that's, like, super different and powerful. We'd be hearing about it, um, but we haven't. 
But uh, they also say that that is the apocalypse, sign of the apocalypse. Again, I've read Revelations and other end times books, and Nephilim aren't mentioned in any of that. But here nor there, I am not throwing my talent with the apocalypse crew. Maybe the end is coming, but I'm not saying this is a sign of the end times. I'm not saying the Nephilim in any way show up at the end times. I can't find it. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. And I'll keep researching. If I'm wrong, I'll come back and tell you, hey, guys, I was wrong. It is the end times. And by the way, uh, get right with God right now. So there you go. But what could have shown up at the mall? I am going to give you a list of possibilities of cryptids that might have been at the mall on January 1st. So here we go. Let's go. First up, we got what are known as the Dark Watchers. Now, the Dark Watchers are best known for roaming the countryside of California, and they are a group of mysterious creatures described as being dark silhouettes up to about 15 feet tall, wearing uh, flowing cloaks and a wide brim hat. So they're stylish, and they carry walking sticks. So they have sticks. We are told they are kids with sticks. The Dark Watchers... They hold sticks. Teddy Roosevelt said, speak softly and carry a big stick. Maybe it was the ghost of Teddy Roosevelt. Probably not. But the Dark Watchers were first reported when Spain came to colonize California. So my, my thought is a lot of people have left California because of the taxes and because of other things. And they're like, we're done with Newsom. And they go to Texas and Florida. And so maybe the Dark Watchers were like, you know, we're sick of it too. We're going to Florida. I don't know because I don't know their political affiliation. I don't know if you can even tax a Dark Watcher. I don't know these things. This is just speculation of what could have been at the Mall of Miami. First up was the Dark Watchers. So they're not, I mean, there's a contender there. They're dark. They're tall. They carry sticks. Another contender, also coming from California, is the Fresno Nightcrawlers. Now, some people say these things are about two feet tall. Some say up to six to eight feet tall, depending on the eyewitness. But let's look at the Nightcrawlers for a second. The, the Nightcrawlers emerged in the year 2007. A homeowner in Fresno, California, decided to set up a camera to find out why his dog was barking. Because he's a dog. That's why he's barking. I have dogs. They bark at night sometimes because they see a squirrel, a shadow, a leaf, or they just want to play. That's how dogs communicate. They heard another dog barking. This guy's like, something's going on. My dog's barking at night. Got to put out a camera. And what did he see? A bobbleless head with long legs walking. And thus, it was called the Fresno Nightcrawler. Now, before you say, well, that was just in Fresno, Gregory. Guess what? Those things have moved out. They're all over the place. They've been spotted in Yosemite, in Ohio, in Canada, in Russia. They leap the pond to get over to Russia. Why wouldn't they make their way to Florida? It's a much easier trek to get down to Florida. Perhaps they are just taking the day off. One night caller said to the other, hey, Beverly, let's go to Florida. Again, we're sick of... What's going on in California? The housing market's ridiculous. We can get like a nice beach home here in Miami. So Nightcrawlers went down there. That's just it. That another another idea. But no, that that's not the only two I got. I got more. I got so many more. So next up would be Slender Man. Yes, the Slender Man, the internet sensation of a few years back. People were saying they saw him. Some girls, I think they actually killed someone to appease Slender Man, or they attempted to kill someone. So Slender Man was a big deal. He was huge a few years ago. People were always talking about Slender Man. They saw Slender Man in the woods. They saw Slender Man here, there, wherever. So perhaps, you know, he went from internet sensation to overnight urban legend. And maybe he's like, you know, it's time I had a revival. And what better place to make a splash than... Miami, get it? Splashed by the ocean. You know, whatever. Slender Man. Why not? Why not? Why couldn't it be? Maybe Slender Man found a wife. They said they saw two of these things. That's what eyewitnesses said. Two large black ob 
like humanoid looking things wandering the mall. We say it was kids with sticks, whatever. But Slender Man is a contender. Moving on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I've talked about these guys before, the Mahahas. Now, the Mahahas are like bluish gray. Uh, their skin is almost translucent. You can see the skeleton in their organs and stuff, and they have long claws. And they go and find victims, and they tickle them. But as they're tickling them, their claws are just shredding their skin like a cheese grater. And then you bleed out and die. And I, I know that these guys are, are best known for hanging out in the northern tundra up in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, because they're part of an Inuit uh, folklore. But maybe, maybe they're just like, you know what? Let's get a little sun. Maybe our translucent skin could use a little light tan, you know? Maybe look a little prettier, you know? Get out there, you know? They're like, let's go to Florida. So they, you know, wandered on down there. But the thing is, we're not hearing that anybody got slashed or harmed by these entities. So Mahahas are probably out because I, I think they can't help themselves. They have to tickle and kill people. I think they just do. And so they can't just go to Miami and have a good time. They're, they're, they're that kind of, they're those kids, those kids who can't not start a riot at a mall with big sticks. They're, they're just like, they would have been hanging out with those guys, probably tickling all those guys, kill them, but whatever. So, I mean, that, that's a long shot, but you know, maybe, maybe it was them. I don't know. It's, it's, it, they, they're in there. They're tall. They're kind of darkish, bluish gray. If you want to read more about them. You can check out my books, the happy little monsters. I think they're in volume three. Um, but also volume four is now out. You can get one, two, and three, and four at Amazon. Uh, you can also get The Creatures Are Stirring, a creepy Christmas collection. It's also out on uh, Amazon. It is there. Just type in the Fedora Files on Amazon, and you'll see all the books. And please purchase it because it helps fund the show. Keeps me going. I don't ask you to go to Patreon. I don't ask you to buy me coffee. I don't ask you for those things. I'm, just, I'm asking you to just buy the book and uh, enjoy it, read it, share it. And it helps fun. So you get something tangible. It's got pictures. And if you can't read, it's got pictures. Like I said, pictures. Little, little drawings, little photoshops that I've done. Come on, I put effort into it. Help support a man. Come on. Daddy needs a, 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 a new toothbrush. Anyway, so moving on. The next would be the hide behind. Now this one, doubtful. Because it, it, the hide behind is also in my books. But... Let's talk about the hide behind. Behind is a fearsome critter from uh, lumberjack folklore, uh, Americans. And basically this thing, no one knows for sure what it looks like. It, it was tall. They, they say that. Uh, it was a, a scary creature that would chase you down and follow you. But when you would turn and look, it was gone. You couldn't see it. But it was always getting closer and closer and closer. So you would hear stomping, creaking noises, noises, something out there, and you go, oh, no, no, and then finally when it got on top of you, it just eviscerated you. You were dead, left for dead. And um, But no one ever saw them, and everyone saw these things, so I think they would be better of you know hiding behind pillars and stuff so you wouldn't know. And I don't think there would be like a crazy havoc and scare and like people stampeding out of the mall because of the hide behind because they wouldn't have known it was there. You know, but... But they're up there because, they're, they're, again, they're tall, and they stalk people. They go after people. Uh, the one thing I would like to find out is did anyone there have whiskey or had they been recently drinking because the hide behind abhors alcohol, specifically whiskey. They don't like it. That's why lumberjacks always carried a flask of whiskey to protect themselves from the hide behind. But if someone there had whiskey, we know, well, it couldn't have been the hide behind because they would be like, I'm out of here because they are like, we are, we are dry monsters. We do not like alcohol, specifically hard liquor, whiskey in particular. We don't like it. We're not staying. So, but my guess is it wasn't the hide behind because people saw whatever this was. So moving on, here's a good one, the vegetable man. And it is exactly what you think it is. It is a guy made out of veggies. He's got like a corn cob head, carrot for ears and like he's made out of vegetable. He's got like suction cup fingers and he sucks your essence out of you. He's pretty tall. 
uh, roughly six to seven feet tall. So, I mean, he's, he's pretty tall. That's a tall dude made out of vegetables. Now, he roams West Virginia. So, yeah, that's pretty far away from Miami. But the Everglades are right there near Miami. So close. The end of the uh, Miami's uh, limit hits against the Everglades. There's swamps, there's canals from the Everglades. And we all know that the Everglades hides the skunk ape and all these other reptiles. And people are throwing in their snakes like their boa constrictors and their pythons. And there's a whole show about dudes going in and hunting down these yeah. pythons. They can make some good money. So if you're Check looking for a job door, and you're CRT. getting ready to graduate high school, today. Like, I don't want to go to college. Go to the Everglades, hunt giant snakes. Maybe learn how to hunt them and then do it. <clears throat> Excuse me again, but go hunt them and make some good money. I think you get something like two, three hundred a snake. And there's dudes out there getting like 10 snakes a day. You know, you could make some good cash and you find the eggs, like a nest. I think it's like up there, like you can get, uh, and they lay about 10 eggs. You can, you know, you know, turn those in for, I think it's a hundred bucks an egg. So, you know, if you can do that, you're you're good to go. So, I mean, anyway, but back to Vegetable Man. So, the Vegetable Man, why couldn't there, he have a cousin down in the Everglades? I mean, we have Swamp Thing, uh, Man Thing, you know, and DC and Marvel had this, like, dude made out of vines. What's to say that Vegetable Man doesn't have a... Uh, Florida cousin made out of coconuts and palm reeds. And he's pissed off at all the snakes being put in his environment, destroying his ecology. So he's out to get man. Who's to say? Who's to say? And he went to the mall because that's where everybody's at. Just a thought. Just a thought. I'm just, I'm giving possibilities. Moving on. This is the one I would lean towards the most. It's the Nalusa Falale, Falalia, Falaya, Falaya, the Nalusa Falaya. So, yeah, say that a hundred times fast. I know I'm so bad with these names. Well, anyway, here we go. Let's see. I've, I've done a video about the Nalusa Falaya, and it is coming out in one of my books. It actually might be in, uh, in book four. It might be out already, or it could be in book five. And in that case, it's coming out later this year. Anyway, so the Nalusaflea, here we go. This is a creature from the Choctaw mythology, and its name literally translated is long black bean. It's a tall dude, black. I think this is also where some people got the idea of Slender Man. I think someone took the, uh, the Choctaw mythology and transformed it and kind of gave Slender Man because they're very similar in the looks and how they move. Uh <clears throat> It's it's normally described. It's normally described as a skinny humanoid with longer ears. Uh, it's very like slithery and like movements are very snake like. Not that it's on its belly and stuff, but it's very like do do do. And uh, it likes to linger in the shadows, and it goes after children again. Malls full of kids, and occasionally the careless hunter. But you know whatever. It probably goes after anybody. Now, one thing, like uh, a person described what they saw as a guy there, and he said that he and his girl were at the Foot Locker, and they heard this stuff going on. They saw all these people running, like scared, like insane. Something bad was happening. A little bit more than a, some kids fighting with sticks. People were getting out of there. And so he was like, come on, babe, grabbed her, and they took off running like, like we got to go. And he said, as he's running, he looked back and he saw this tall looking moving. And then it would like and get closer. And then like almost like it was teleporting. Um, so what was he seeing? We don't know. And the thing is about the Nalusaflea, that is how it's kind of described. They don't call it teleporting because Chickpaw didn't know that word, but that it would kind of vanish and reappear and be closer and closer and closer and closer and closer until it was right on top of you. And so that is what what how the, they are described as moving. And I found it interesting because I watched the eyewitness this, this guy's testimony and what he said happened. And then a few days later, he took that video down 
for and he didn't put any explanation up of why he took it down and he never explained like he didn't come back and say hey i was just kidding la 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 chick so did somebody get a hold of him and say dude you take that crap down you gotta take it down now or something bad's gonna happen to you. in fact he hasn't really posted anything since that day so something bad may have happened i don't know i'll have to look again maybe he has posted but i mean like it, it came down a few days later and has not been back up. So that's a possibility, the Nalusa Filet. And what happened to that guy? What, where is he? Is he okay? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? I don't know if his name is Annie, but, you know, could be. Maybe his girlfriend's name is Annie. She hasn't posted anything about the incident either. But, like, again, like I said, now since the thing happened, the police finally did release some of their uh, little body cams, some stills. I think they released some foot, and they do have some pictures of some kids fighting with sticks. Now, the thing, though, is it's not a huge group. It's like maybe about 10, 12 kids, teenagers. And it took 100 cop cars showing up to take care of this and a helicopter. Another interesting thing is like, the helicopter, some footage from one of the helicopters showed something, and it looked huge. One um, coming out of the mall, then going back in. And didn't look like kids was it. And the helicopter didn't show any signs of kids with sticks fighting that I could see. And then the footage and the stills that I've seen, it's kids outside of the mall fighting with sticks. And But it's like, again, it's not... It, I would not think it would require a hundred cop cars to show up. And I find it interesting that we only have like one video and a few stills when all cop cars have cameras on and they had a police helicopters there. All the cops have body cams on them. And we only see one angle of this, these kids fighting um, with sticks. And it's just very bizarre. So 2024 is coming out hard and bizarre, and yeah, I love it. I can't wait to find out what else is going to happen this year. I'm excited about this. Maybe this is the year somebody catches Bigfoot on one of those shows. I doubt it, but hey, we have hope. We have hope that maybe it will happen. So what are your thoughts? What do you think happened to Miami? Is it just a bunch of kids with sticks? Are we being lied to? Is there more out there? Was it one of these weird cryptids? Was it aliens? Do you fall into the alien thing? I don't. I don't think it was aliens. Is it the Nephilim? Is it the end of the world? Are you ready? Are you ready? If you were to die right now, I don't know, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, um, what was it? Was it all just a misunderstanding? You know, I don't know. Is the government really out there telling us the truth now? Are they with us? Are they behind us saying, we don't want to lie to the people anymore? Because we've done it for so long. We want to come clean. We want to be the good spouse and stop cheating and lying. I don't think so. But, hey, it's also an election year, so you know some crazy stuff's going to go down. It's going to be insane. Can't wait. So, be careful out there. Stay safe. Keep your eyes open. Keep your head on straight. Keep researching and just, you know, get ready. And as always, stay safe and keep searching. The Fedora. Check out FedoraCRT.com today.